and we say welcome. This is a church and you're safe here. We've had people just burst into tears. They're just so grateful. You see the relief because they're like, not only am I somewhere safe, but at a church. College student Megan Spatel volunteers at the Inn, an emergency shelter for newly arrived migrants in Arizona. United Methodist established the Inn in 2016 explains the Reverend Dottie Escobeda Frank. December, we got a call from ICE. They were asking to shelter or house people who are coming out of a detention center in the Tucson area. It was Christmas time and church members quickly put plans in place to find room in the inn for weary travelers. When families arrive, we have the cots ready for them. Gretchen Lopez is the site coordinator. Is amigo o familia? She helps migrants fill out paperwork and call families back home. So yo necesito preguntar Greyhound. This man's story is typical. He fled threats of violence and extortion from gangs. Sí, como yo me tardé. It took him about 25 days to get from his home country to the U.S. border. He get a, a ride or get a bus to a certain place, and then either have to earn some money to get to the next location. At the inn, travelers can take a shower receive clean clothes, and eat a hot meal. Finally safe, some just sleep for up to 24 hours. Isn't it beautiful that God made our bodies and our souls to, with a little bit of rest, we start all over as if it's a new day. Families generally stay a couple of days. The shelter can house 50 people at a time. Dedicated volunteers make beds, cook meals, and drive families to the bus station so here are the tickets for the two okay. families that you're taking. Maps on the wall help families see how far they have traveled, where they'll change buses, and their final destinations. A lot of them, I don't think, realize how big the United States is until they get here. Innkeepers say the Bible is full of examples of care for travelers. In the Old Testament, it says often that do not harm the immigrant among you and treat them as your own because you were once immigrants in Egypt. The stories that we're hearing are stories of violence. And they're coming here hoping that we will open up our doors to them. And as a country, we're slamming our doors in their faces. And they're afraid of what they left, and they're afraid of what they encounter in our midst. Welcoming the stranger, making room in the inn, the Bible calls Christians to offer hospitality. Volunteers at this United Methodist ministry say God's love knows no borders. I've definitely cried putting people on the bus, but I know like I've done something valuable for them. I've given them a sense of safety and a sense of hope. I was able to be the better part of their journey.